Hey there. Ever pondered how Vanessa Hudgens transformed her Disney fame into a fortune? Let's delve into it. Vanessa isn't just about high school musical anymore. Over the past 17 years, she's transitioned from a teenage sensation to a powerhouse in Hollywood, music, and business. With a cool $18 million in the bank, from her breakout role in 2006 to her strategic moves across various genres, she has starred in over 25 films, raking in a staggering $1.3 billion worldwide. So, how did she accomplish it? Vanessa's rise to fame began as Gabriela Montez in Disney's High School Musical, drawing massive audiences and likely hefty paychecks. The franchise's third installment alone grossed a whopping $252 million worldwide, securing her financial standing alongside co-star Zac Efron. From there, her roles in action-packed films and rom-coms further bolstered her bank balance. However, Vanessa isn't just an actress. She's also a chart-topping musician. Hits like Breaking Free helped her debut album, V, sell over 570,000 copies, earning her a gold certification. Though her subsequent albums may not have matched the same sales, they still contributed to her bottom line, solidifying her as a dual-threat entertainer. Venturing beyond entertainment, Vanessa co-founded businesses like Quat and No Beauty, tapping into lucrative markets. Quat caters to health-conscious consumers, while No Beauty's recent rebranding under her sole CEO leadership indicates her diversifying income streams beyond the silver screen. Let's talk real estate. In 2008, Hudgens purchased a 5,200-square-foot home in Studio City, California, for $2.75 million. After listing it for $3.85 million in 2019, she sold it for $3.15 million, likely comprising a significant part of her net worth. Later, she upgraded to a Los Feliz home bought from actor Gary Oldman for $4.9 million in 2022. She sold this property for $6 million. 